I'm Kaylee Romero. I'm Elisa Shaw. I'm Evangeline. And we have another team member, Rebecca Lake. Should we go online? My friends are Brian. And we are at the Sunwarriors. And our product is Floor of UK, which is a portable, fast growing garden that can be that is for disaster relief. sound you hear before disaster hits. Next thing you know, everything is destroyed. Your home, friends, family, livelihood. All happiness is taken away. You're hungry. There's no food or clean water. Your supplies only last a few weeks. What do you do? We don't know when help is coming. It could take weeks, months, or even years. But one day, you receive a package from Flora Vite. Inside is some soil, seeds, and a little bit of hope. Flora Vitae is a sustainable garden and water filtration system designed for those devastated by natural disasters. It has stackable shelves that click into each other, soil and seeds for planting, and a water system to maintain it. Designed easy to assemble and care for, Flora Vitae provides aid for those without access to food. Flora Vitae. Care. Relief. Sustain. So, disasters can happen anywhere. It could be a hurricane, it could be a tornado, it could be even a fire, and most people, they don't have anywhere to go when these disasters happen. So they go into a shelter, and a lot of people go into these shelters, and they're lacking food or, or help. Disaster help usually takes weeks to months to years. So we want to find a long-lasting solution for these people. And this is Ryan, she'll be talking about the product. When you receive for Vita, it comes in a box. And what you receive in the box is a drip line, stabilizers, a tank with filter, and the garden beds and these, the box, the supports with, and the garden beds that, and the soil with the seeds compacted inside of them. And all you have to do is put the pieces together. So you put the box, the two boxes were two supports, and then a garden bed. And if you order another one, if you received two because you have a larger family or they just sent you another one, you stack another one with two supports. You just put, you attach the supports to it, you stack it on top, and you put the garden bed the other way so the garden beds are going um, opposite directions. Then you inlay the water line inside of the garden bed and then you put the soil on top of it so that seeds are getting a constant drip and the tank goes on top of the box, the top of however many garden beds you have so that the drip can go down with gravity so that you get a constant drip and it never gets stuck in the water. When you... And here is a visual representation of the model. That pillow model is supposed to be our filter and the straws are supposed to be the filtration system. So when we were kind of thinking about what we wanted to do, um, 
the main areas of research that we looked at were the different types of soil, the type of plants we would want, uh, the type of material, and the type of water system we would use. And then for the seeds, uh, we decided on doing sunflower shoots, radishes, spinach, turnips, gums, lettuce, and sunflowers. Uh, with all of these, we wanted at least like a minimum of 10 days and a max of 30 days, just so that people aren't, you know, waiting for a long time to have their food. Uh, and then in the chart, we have like the different types of soil that we would be utilizing and the different type of costs that we would have. And here we have different materials. Like we said, we wanted to find something that was recyclable, that can handle like long time periods of time. And we wanted to find something that was water resistant and can handle UV, UV light or sunshine. Uh, so here are some materials, but we would like to get together with a material expert because by no means we're material experts. Well, I would like to ethos and gloss everything, don't have a lot to go back into, or don't want to be on uh, um, processed foods or practices and so on, because you know, after a while, just kind of doing the same thing every day. Um, we're hoping that this would keep up that like life you kind of have something to grow and something to look at the pencil you can go back home and hoping that this will also help their mental wellness as well. Uh, for optimization, we would like a classic type of material, give them a simple food source, have a high quality where it's a long last time, and we would like to partner with nonprofit organizations or even uh, organizations like Red Cross or FEMA. And other things we would like to add is integrating traditional Japanese and drug blocking instead of having all these screws or having to provide tools for them, something that they put together. And these are some examples of traditional Japanese drug blocking. So how we plan to kind of differentiate ourselves from other people is by keeping our costs low so that people can afford this. Uh, keeping it unique so it's different from what other people have made. Having it low maintenance so it's not difficult to do because like for me, I know nothing about planting or gardening. And keeping it long lasting so that it can last years and months. Uh, and keeping it sustainable so it doesn't hurt the environment as well. And then in conclusion, like disasters can happen at any moment. Uh, with science, you can kind of tell when it's going to happen, but you never really know how devastating it's going to be until it actually happens. So with our product, we hope to bring a little kindness to people and just to give them hope when they've lost everything in life. So consider what Flora Vitae could do for those in need and invest today. And then for the future, we hope to eventually go to different countries that are devastated as well, not only in the US too. Um, and maybe even eventually have it to where like people that like to garden can have it as well so they can plant their own food too.
is there anything that you can do to cut food ready before those 21 days? Like something that you can find that you can actually get eat, eat faster in a faster way. Can you talk about it? Yeah, because with this one, usually like this, uh, shelters we usually have pre-food that is already ready and just, and this is just like in case like when they run out. They can use this as an alternative. And <coughs> so, okay. Sorry. Uh, what kind of uh, plants can be addressed with this kind of product or this kind of product? We found that uh, sunflower sprouts grow really great, and they are most common for survivability, and they grow into like 12 days in 12 days. And some other flowers are pretty good, like radishes. And and there are some other ones. Let me see who looks like. <laughs> and we even went to like some of like the survivability. Um, and what would be great? So like these are some of the greatest, but some flower shoots are the best. And also with some plants like the lettuce, you don't have to work to harvest it. As it grows, you can throw off the outside and help the ground and grow instead of having to leave it. Uh, I'm thinking that this could be a very good way to, to educate people.